Hello and welcome to our painting class. You are going to need your big brush and then I have a little edging brush. It is uh, number 22 if you guys have those brushes at home. Otherwise it's just a small brush that's kind of flat on one side and thick on the other side. So you will also need your watercolor paint set which has your red, orange, golden yellow, lemon yellow, Prussian blue, and the other blue. You will also need a glass of water. Um, I recommend not using a glass that people drink out of just so they don't look at you funny when you are using this to dip your paints in. This is to clean off your paintbrushes. And last but not least, some of you really like to have a paper towel or a sponge um, next to you so that you can catch the drips of your paintbrush onto that thing. I don't particularly use that, but I know some of you really wanted that this year, so grab it, use it. So to start with, I am going to outline the two forms that we are going to paint with my fingers. That's right, I'm not gonna do any painting at all. I'm not even gonna draw on there, not pencil. I'm just gonna go over it with my fingers to see about how big I want these shapes to be. So let's check it out. I am going to have two sort of um, egg-shaped ovals. They're not exact ovals. And one of these is going to be about here with the smaller part here and the bigger part here. And the other is going to be have the here, smaller part here. All right, I traced those. And the next thing I'm going to do is you have two options here. You can, we're doing uh, wet paint on dry paper. So you can either do your first coat of wet paint. And if it's not too hot of a day, you can mix your second coat of wet paint on top. We're going to be doing um, greens and we're going to do any browns, neither of which you have in your painting kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-mix a green and pre-mix a brown so that we can use those greens and browns. So here's what you do and yeah I forgot to tell you that it's really nice to have just like a little lid or something like that where you can put the paints in and so that you don't ruin your paint set. Put in your first paint into the lid and then dip your brush in water really, really, really well. And then put the other paint in here and see if you can get that combination that we're going for of green and brown. It's good to have um, kind of a medium range green and a medium range brown. If you want it to be darker, you just add more layers. And if you want it to be lighter, you just dip it into water and have it be pretty light. So don't go for a really, really light green or a light brown. That's not going to serve you well. Now, you might be asking yourself, what colors are going to make brown? What colors are going to make green? I really hope you're not asking yourself what colors are going to make green. But if you are, blue and yellow are going to make green. And if you're asking what is going to make brown, well, just take that blue and yellow and add a little bit of red, and you will have your brown. Blue and red are going to make that purple. But if, so if you take that green that you already have and add the red that you don't normally add to make green. You take your blue and yellow, you've got your green, and now take that green, you can just make a double batch of that and add some red to it and you will make brown. So now you should have your, um, your green mixed up and your brown mixed up unless you're going to paint it um, in different layers. Fine if you're gonna paint it in two different layers. Um, I am going to do a brown. I'm gonna start with the brown. The brown is what's going to be right here on the inside. And I'm going to dip into my paint. And I'm going to dip into my water so that my um, paint is not too dark. And I'm going to, at the edge of my glass, I'm going to take off any extra paint so that the paint is not too thick. What I want to do is start light with watercolor and work my way darker. That's how we're going to get really nice textures and a lot of depth in our paintings is we're going to start light 
and then make it darker. You can use water. We can use that lifting technique we used earlier in the, in the year to lift some of the paint off. But what we want to do that's so much easier than that is to just add a little bit more darkness. All right, so here I'm going to add Got a little bit of a circle going on here. Mine looks like it's probably going to drip, so I'm going to catch that drip. If you are working on a table like I wish I were working on a table, then you will probably not have a drip that you need to catch. So I'm going to catch this drip. I'm going to build this out until it's nice and circular. And now you can see, how is your brown? Has it a little on the red side? Is it a little on the blue side? Do you need to add a little bit more to it? You can add a little bit more to it. It's fine if it's light. This is just the right lightness because I'm gonna be adding more to it. Um, so right now, this is perfectly acceptable. Um, now this pit is gonna be in half the avocado, but it's not gonna be in the other half. And I'm assuming that you know why. But if you don't, I will explain it. It's because avocados only have one pit. So when you cut an avocado around the middle, split it in half, and then you have this half of the avocado, well, one half is gonna have a pit and one isn't. So in our painting of an avocado, then one half is gonna have the pit and the other is not gonna have the pit. All right? Excellent. So, uh, if we let this dry a little bit over time, then that will allow us to put a second coat. I haven't really even let it dry that much, but I'm going to go for, if I have a deeper, darker part of the brown, I can just add a little bit of this. I'm going to use the smaller brush now to just edge around the outside and give it a little bit more depth. When we look at that avocado, if the light is shining, it's going to hit that top part of the sphere right up at the top, but on the sides you're going to see more edge and more shadow. So I'm just going to add a little more edge and a little more shadow to the sides of this pit. I'm happy with that for now. I hope that you can see it's a little bit darker just around the edge right here. And I left it a little bit lighter at the top and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to make it a little darker on this side and a little lighter on this side, which will give us a little bit more depth and make it look like there's actually a real thing in the picture. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the brown on this brush because I'm gonna come back to it and give it yet another layer soon. But for now, I'm just gonna take all the brown off my bigger brush. I'm gonna rinse that off and switch over to green. So let's try that out. Again, I'm going to take all the brown that I had on this brush, muddy up this water, turn the water brown, come out on both sides. If you want to, and I recommend it, you can use your fingers to squeeze this. I know some of you like to sort of dab the thing on a towel, that's fine as well. And I'm gonna give it two rinses because I don't want this brown to overpower the green. I want to come in fresh with the green. All right, and now I'm gonna take the green that we mixed up and I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush so that we can um, lighten the green and have the green come in with a very, very light nature to it. I want this green to be super light at first. Uh, so I'm gonna dip in water a little bit first, dip in a little bit of green, and let's see how light this turns out. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'm gonna start to bring this green down. You can just turn this into a nice circle. The avocado is not like a circle, but it's fine that we start like a circle 
And then I'm going to branch out a little bit. And it's almost going to look like lollipop shape. And I'm going to bring this circle up. Okay. And we got a little bit of drip. No big deal. Oh, we'll catch that drip. And now I'm going to go around the edges of the avocado. And again, we should have this really nice light layer of green, not too dark. All right, now how am I going to catch this drip? Well, I'm going to dip that paintbrush in water. get the edges of it, and then squeeze that tip of the paintbrush so that the water comes off. Now that this is a little bit dry, I can come here and catch the drip. Or if you make a little mistake on the outside, we're just going to come here and catch it. And it pretty much disappears, and it's gone. Cool. And I painted my door a little bit, so now I've got a little bit of a green door. No big deal. All right, behold, we have it. We have the first balloon shape. This, um, it gets very circular in here, but then it has somewhat of a narrower neck. Now this is imperfect. It's not exactly as I want it, but it's also not that big of a deal because we're gonna come back to this once it dries a little bit. So let me take that uh, green. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush back in the water a bit so I can get this nice light green. And I'm gonna dip it back into the green. And uh, run my paintbrush along the edges so that there's not too much paint. I don't want it to be too dark. I want a nice light green. And here I'm going to do the opposite. This one has the fattest part here and the skinniest part uh, at the lower edge. And I want the skinniest part at the lower edge so I can start with my nice green circle right here. And then I can bring this into it. Bring this let's see what's going on with this. It's not quite right, so I need to bring this circle out just a little bit. There we go. We have this circle here, and then this again sort of avocado -y balloon shape up on top. Is it perfect? No. But art is not perfect and life is not perfect. And that is our lesson for the day. So what am I going to do now? Well, the pit has had a little bit of time to dry, so why don't I grab that other brush that had the brown on it, and I can add a little bit more brown. I'm going to add another layer of brown to that one. I'm going to come around this edge. And I'm going to dip in water, and now I can actually bring some of the dark edge in towards the center. Watch what I do. I'm going to take wherever I just put a little bit of dark edge, and now I took some water on my brush so that the brown is much lighter, and I'm going to bring some of that brown edge in towards the center. And then I'm going to leave this, that original light, shiny brown. It's going to look like a little bit of light is hitting this thing. So now I'm going to come and clean this up and get even a little bit more water and clean most of the brown off here so that it can just smush around a little bit of water and make this uh, not have harsh edges. I'm going to soften the edges a little bit on both ends. I'm going to start softening the inside light edges. Then I'm going to get those darker edges. So first I'm going to run my brush around here and make sure the edges are nice and light. Then 
I'm going to run my edge around here and make sure that this shadowy edge is a little bit light as well. There. I actually really love how this turned out. Now, I want to add a little bit more dark green. So I'm going to take this edging brush with the last thing I'm going to do to the green. I'm going to see if this is dry. I can use the back of my hand. Yeah, it's wet, but I'm going to work on it anyway. I'm not going to do anything too drastic to it. I'm going to take this fat brush that had the green on it already. I'm going to dip into the green. This time I can go a little bit darker. Now this is a mirror. Even though these things are upside down, this half is this half. So wherever this pit was, I want to... Uh, I want to put where the pit was right here. The pit is right there. I want the pit also to be right there, about the same size in this one. And, uh, Catch that little drip right there before it starts dripping. And then since I made this hole where this is going to go, I'm, I am going to add more, especially when I get that edging brush in there. I'm going to edge a little bit more darkness inside of there. Uh, but for now, I'm going to take this green and I'm just going to go around the outside to give this a little bit more thickness around here as well. So we can see this. I'm especially going to add this darkness to the edge here. Cool. And, um, you know, I'm going to do the same thing on the other avocado as well. I'm going to add some darker green edge all the way around. Now, if we need to get a really dark green for this picture, what do you think that we would add to make our green darker? blue or yellow. So yellow is going to give us a little bit of a lighter green, more of an olive green, those light green olives. Um, some olives are brown, but green olives tend to be a little bit on the lighter side. Um, and then there's your darker like pine forest green, right? Uh, if you add more blue, you're going to get that bluer, deeper, darker sort of pine forest green. So if we need to change up our paints, we totally can change up our paints. I'm just catching a drip right here. Then uh, again, I'm going to go around this outside. And I want to soften these edges as well. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop my paintbrush in here, get it in the water, make this mostly water, squeeze off the excess water, but dab down and get a little more water because I'm going to take this watery brush and now I'm going to come in and soften the edges. Wherever these things met, I want these to be pretty natural. How do I do that? Well, I just add a little bit of water. And voila, they melt. These edges melt. I'm going to leave this hole. I'm going to leave it with a harder, darker shadow. And I'm not going to soften the edges quite yet. I am going to come in and do a little bit more edging and make sure that that's a nice dark pit. Okay. Um, but for now, for now, we're just going to come around here and soften these edges and make sure that this is a nice, soft green all the way around with not a lot of sharp, harsh edges. Going to dip in here one more time and just do one last little go around to smush this paint in here and get it exactly how I want it and catch this little drip that really threatens to go off my page. All right, and this is, this is very good. I like what we have here so far. We might need to wait five or 10 minutes to, um, to let this dry. 
So I'm gonna take a little time out and let this dry and we'll come back, okay? All right, welcome back. Uh, let's check it out. I think I made my pit a little bit too small, but guess what? It's not that big of a deal because there's all different kinds of avocados. There's not just one type. There are many, many, many different types. Um, and some of them have small pits and some of them have big pits. Some avocados are teeny tiny with a small pit and some are teeny tiny with a big pit. Some are huge with a big pit. Some are huge with a small pit. Mine looks kind of huge with a small pit and that's just how it is. Maybe yours is gonna be different and it's totally okay to have yours be different than mine. So um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, probably do one last go around um, with green. I'm gonna get the green as dark as I can. I'm gonna go to the deepest, darkest part of my mixed green. And then I'm really going to get my brush. Um, I'm gonna go along the edges of the container to get this deep, dark green. Got it, and then I'm gonna really take as much paint as I can off of here. Again, we can always go darker, even when I've got this deepest, darkest green. I wanna make sure that I can um, not flood this painting with too much color. You guys have seen what happens when you flood a painting with too much color, blah, it just goes everywhere. So with watercolor, this paper is just waiting to suck up your paint. And if you let it, it's just gonna suck up way too much paint. It's gonna be a big gloopy gloppy mess. Let's try to uh, dodge that mess. I'm gonna get in here with my even darker green. You know what, it wasn't that dark. I think I might need to mix up some dark green with a little bit more blue in it. And you know what I'm gonna do? If the sun is shining here, and this pit is right here, it's getting the light part here. So you see I left the lightest part right there. That looks pretty good. This doesn't look good quite yet, so I can fix it. I can come in here and I can say, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a little bit of more of this really deep dark green into the pit hole, which is gonna have the opposite. Now instead, the light is gonna catch here on this angle. Think about it, this is a hole. If the light is coming down, the shadow of the hole is gonna be right here at the top. And the light is gonna shine at the bottom of the hole right here. So now I want this part to be my shiniest part and this part to be my darkest part. So I'm gonna get in here with the big fat brush and do a little bit of edging around the outside of this pit hole. Okay, and... I'll get in there when it's dry and do a little bit more, but okay, for now that's nice. This is a little bit light that I left in here, and this is dark. And again, I want this tippy top to be the absolute darkest. This is where I want the darkest of my paint. I'm gonna come back in here again, even after it's all nice and dry. For now, I'm gonna add more dark green all the way around the outside of these avocados. I'm gonna add it in here. And I'm gonna add it in the other one as well. Because remember, we cut this avocado in half, but it should be the same avocado. So uh, hopefully it's got the same color flush on the inside on both sides. Otherwise, something is really wrong with it. Let's come in here, add even more dark green to this outside. And I'm gonna come around here. And I'm gonna get this bottom. Do the same thing here. Make sure it's all nice and um, now I can come in here and soften these edges a little bit. I think it's a little bit harsh right here. You can see very light and very dark. It's gonna dry differently, but really to get it the way that I want it, I wanna dip this paintbrush in water 
I really want to get as much water off of here as possible. Double dip, get that paint, get that water off. And now come back in a third time and dip and just keep a little bit of water on there and get that water on the edges of the jar. Because now I'm going to come back in here to this painting and add a little bit of this water and just soften up the edges. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to come in. I'm just going to come in and get these edges nice and soft. And it's going to start to look better and better. There we go. That's a little softer. That's more like what I'm looking for. I'm going to come back in here and do that same thing. Soften up these edges. I might need to come back into the water one more time. And I'm going to come in here and just soften up these edges. All right, did it. Again, we might have to wait a little while. Um, what I'm going to do is add a little bit more blue to my green to make an even darker green. Um, so there's two more steps to this painting. The first one is I'm going to add one last layer of thick dark green to the outside. And then I think I'm actually going to add a little bit of rind to the outside as well. I might even use my brown to mix with that green and add a little bit of rind, that avocado skin. Um, to the outside of it and just go around the edge with that uh, brown with that edging brush. Um, also, I need a little bit more shadow up in here. So let me switch over to the small brush and um, see if I can't get a little bit right up in here, make this even deeper and darker. Looks like this is the darkest I'm getting this one, so I'm going to come back in and make a darker green. And uh, I'll see you guys in a, a few minutes my time, virtually no seconds because I'm just going to cut the video. So I add a little bit more blue to my green. It's giving me a little bit of a blue green. We'll see how this dries. Uh, what an interesting experiment. I uh, kind of wish that this was a little more dark green instead of blue green, but um, here goes. We're going to add this to the shadow up here. All right, that's super wet. That's much more wet than I intended. Let's see if we can catch this drip and make it work. Okay. And I'm going to go around the outside with this blue-green. We're going to see what happens. Great experiment. Might be a little bit too blue. Happens. We can still continue adding layers even if this blue-green is not right. Looked a little bit bluer uh, on the paper, but this is actually really nice, and I think it's going to dry just perfect. So turns out this was good. I'm going to go in and add even a little bit more. Then I'm going to add some water so I can uh, soften the edges and really bring it in.
All right, looking in pretty good to me. What I want to do now is I want to rinse my brush and um, with a little bit of this paint on and the, and the rinsed brush, I'm just gonna come in here and soften these edges so it doesn't look too harsh right where these things meet. So let me try this. All right, looking pretty good to me. Let me try it on the other side. And you know what? Because I did get a little bit more paint on my brush as I was coming in to that paint and softening those edges, I'm gonna give it another rinse, take that water and um, really dab it off on the side of the jar here and come in and see if I can get the other side. And let's soften these edges as well. Looking good. And then right here at the edge where this drip is hitting, I'm just gonna lift that up a little bit. And right where this drip is hitting, I'm just gonna lift that up and bring it into the other part of the painting. Looking good to me. There's one last thing we're gonna do. I'm probably gonna wait a few minutes for this to dry. At this point, there are significantly different uh, layers of wet water. I can feel that even here in the center, this paint is wet. Um, so all of our paint is wet, which means I'm just gonna wait five or 10 minutes for it to dry. And then I'm gonna come back and do a little bit of a, um, a skin, a greenish brownish avocado skin on the outside. I might even mix my brown pit um, color that I had with a little bit of my dark blue green that I had for the other thing, just to make that blue green darker or to make the brown greener. Uh, because that's what avocado skin is. It's not exactly brown, it is more of like a dark green. All right, so we let it sit for a little while. Uh, now I'm going to come back in with my um, greenish brown that I mixed and let's see what that looks like. I might add a little bit into this shadow here and into this pit here and for the skin around the outside. So let's use our edging brush to figure that out. Uh, I see a little thing here. I'm going to come back and uh, fix it. I'll grab my other brush and see if I can grab that drip before it ruins anything. It's okay. Figure that out. Could just turn it into like sort of a dark rotten spot in the avocado. Uh, you know, Art is not perfect and life is not perfect. Sometimes you open your avocado, there's just little rotten bits inside.
Lastly, I'm going to come in with a little green and see if there are some things that I can't fix. Uh, looks like I probably want to come in with some water right here and go around this and see if I can't undo this drip. And um, I want to come into this little area right here, this little smudgy smudge, and see if I can't fix this as well. And lastly, if we're looking at little touch-ups, I have a drip here that I want to fix. It's a deep and dark one. Probably take a lot of water. I'll get some water on here and see if I can't undo it. Um, looking pretty good. I might want to come in and soften this edge where I created new greens in here. Maybe even add another little layer, but for now I think I'm pretty happy with it. The last thing I want to do is come in here and um, catch this little drip as well. And voila, I think we have some nice avocados. Uh, once it dries, we'll hang it up on our wall.